good evening students welcome back welcome to the ias initiative the economic series brought to you by classic ks and ias study circle this is me your faculty amogavarsha and ias coordinator i will be handling these economic exclusive and exciting economic sessions to you as you all know we have already discussed about gdp part 1 and part 2 today we will be dealing with yet another interesting session in this session we will be dealing and we will be understanding and we will be deliberating about the differences differences between gdp and gnp before we move ahead let us have a quick recap of what we had studied in the last session so in the last session we had dealt with the definition of gdp we had taken a lot of examples so let us have a quick recap okay let us have a very quick recap of what we had studied in the last session so gdp dear students dear students what is gdp we had defined the gdp we have we had understood each and every keyword of the definition of gdp in great detail let us have a quick revision gdp is nothing but the money value it is the money value of what of final goods and services produced within the domestic territory of a country during a financial year so let us write down these keywords what is gdp gdp is the money value money value of what final of final goods and services Man, gdp gross domestic product is the money value of final goods and services produced where in a domestic in a domestic territory in a domestic territory of what domestic territory of a country during a financial during a financial year this was the definition of gdp all right we had also understood what is the definition of gnp let us understand the definition of gnp gnp we had understood what is gnp gnp is also the money value of what of final goods and services produced by whom only only by the nationals only by the nationals or citizens or citizens of a country citizens of a country in a citizens of a country during a financial year okay we had understood this much let us further understand it in a better way by taking some examples let us take some examples students let us take some examples let us say let us take this example let us draw a table and let us take some alphabets this is a this is b and this is c now you might ask me why are we learning alphabets in economic session i will tell you right now what is a a a is the income a is what a is the income earned income earned by citizens by indian citizens or nationals income earned by whom income earned by citizens of a country okay now let us take b what is b b is income earned by income earned by whom non citizens by foreigners by foreigners where students inside the domestic territory inside india inside india whatever income is earned by citizens plus whatever income is earned by foreigners is calculated under gdp or gnp if you have just said gdp you are absolutely correct whatever is produced inside the domestic territory of the country is used to calculate the gdp of the country so let us write down the formula of gdp gdp is a plus b right gdp is a plus b what is a income earned by indian citizens where inside the domestic territory what is b income earned by foreigners where inside the domestic territory so gdp is a plus b let us take one more example here here tata motors tata motors produces some cars tata motors is an indian company it produces some cars 
it is included in GDP. Let us take another example. Xiaomi. Xiaomi is a Chinese mobile company. It is producing mobile handsets in India. It is producing mobile handsets in Hyderabad. So this income is also used to calculate the GDP of a country. Okay. Now let us take, let us move forward. What is C? What is C students? C is the income earned by Indian citizens, Indian nationals, but not inside India, outside India. Say this person is having, this is Tata Motors, okay? This is Tata Motors. It is producing Jaguar cars. It is producing Jaguar cars. Where? Not in India. In the United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom. Tata Motors is, you, is owned by whom? Who is the owner of Tata Motors? Mr. Ratan Tata sir. Ratan Tata sir is the owner of, Indi of Tata Motors. And what is the citizenship of Ratan Tata sir? Is he an US citizen? Is he an UK citizen? He is a citizen of India, right? So, the income, what is C? C is nothing but the income earned by citizens of India where residing abroad. Residing abroad, not in India. So, now tell me students, we have discussed what is the GNP. GNP is the money value of final goods and services earned by whom? Earned by nationals or Indian citizens. So, what should be the formula? What should be the formula for GNP? GNP formula is A is an Indian citizen, income earned by Indian citizen. Where? In India, in domestic territory. Plus, an Indian citizen, income earned where? Abroad, in foreign country. So, this is the difference. This is the basic, basic difference between GDP and GNP. Okay? Let us move forward now. If you have understood this definition very well, let us move forward. Let us go back to the presentation. So, we were discussing the difference between GDP and GNP. We are discussing the relationship between GDP and GNP. We have taken beautiful examples and we have understood it very well. Let us move forward. So, focus on this slide students. Focus on this diagram. Let us now understand what is GDP and the difference between GDP and GNP. GDP is what? It is the money value. It is the money value of what? Of final, of final goods and services produced by whom? Produced by both citizens of India and non-citizens. This is our lovely India. So whatever the citizens are producing inside India, and whatever the non-citizens are producing inside India, that income will be used to calculate your GDP. Okay? Both citizens and non-citizens, whatever income they are earning inside the domestic territory of India is used to calculate GDP. Now let us understand what is GNP, that is gross national product, no, gross national product is the money value of final goods and services earned by whom? Earned by citizens. Citizens residing where? Domestic citizens residing inside India plus citizens residing where? Citizens residing abroad in foreign countries. So, if we add these incomes of citizens both residing in India and residing abroad, we get what is known as gross national product GNP. I hope you have understood very well the difference between GDP and GNP. Let us move forward. Let us move forward. Let us kindly focus on this table, this amazing beautiful table. It will clear all your doubts. This table, we are comparing GDP and GNP. Let us see what is GDP. In GDP, we are calculating the income earned by whom? Both the citizens and the non-citizens of a country of India. If Bill Gates, if Bill Gates is producing something in India, plus Ratan Tata is producing something in India, that income will be used to calculate GDP. Okay. Let us come this side. Let us come and discuss, deliberate what is GNP. GNP is the income. 
GDP is the income earned by citizens, only the citizens, only the nationals, but both those national may be producing that income, earning that income domestically inside the geographic boundary of India or in abroad, abroad, USA, UK, Japan, etc. So that is the first difference between GDP and GNP. So what, why we are calculating GDP? What is the utility of calculating GDP? Why we are putting so much efforts to calculate GDP? Why? GDP. GDP is an indicator. It is an indicator of what? It is an indicator of an economy. It does what? It says the size of the economy of the nation. Don't we read in newspaper? Our economy size is this much. Our GDP is growing by this much. USA's GDP is this much. India is ranked this much in com while comparing the GDP. So what it does? It signifies the size of the economy. That's why the present government, today's government has taken an ambition to make India, India what? A 5 trillion, a 5 trillion dollar economy or that is GDP to make India's GDP 5 trillion dollars by when? by 2024-25. This is the aim. So what GDP is doing? GDP is signifying the size of the economy. How huge is your economy? How much goods and services is produced in a financial year in your economy? That is the utility of GDP. So what does gross national product signify? What does it signify? Gross national product represents how its citizens are contributing to the country's economy. How much the citizens are earning, no matter whether they are residing inside India or outside India in UK, Argentina, etc. How they are contributing to what? To the country's economy. This should make the differences, this should make the concepts of GDP and GNP very, 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 very clear, students. Let us move forward. Let us move forward, students. Now, let me ask you some questions. I will tell you some examples. You have to tell me that income comes under GDP or GNP. Okay. Now let us take this example. What is this? What is this students? This is a snack. This is a snack produced by whom? Produced by Aldirams. Aldirams. Aldirams is a snack making company, snack manufacturing company, snacks which you have with your coffee during evening, the snacks manufacturing company. This is Aldirams. Aldirams is producing some snacks. Let, let me ask you a question. Aldirams is an Indian company or a foreign company? It is Indian company. It is, produ it is producing these snacks, right? So the income earned by Aldirams by selling these snacks, does it come under GDP or GNP? Students, does the income earned by this snack company, that Indian company Aldirams, which is manufacturing these snacks inside the geographical territory of India, that income, is it used to calculate GDP or GNP? If you just now said the answer is GNP, you are incorrect. The answer is GDP. GDP, gross domestic product. Fine. Let us move forward. Let us take another example. There is a company, an American company called as PepsiCo. An American company called as what? Called as Pepsi Co. An American company. Let us say it is having an snack manufacturing industry, snack manufacturing factory where? Right in Darwad. Let us take this hypothetical example, students. Let us take this example. This is a foreign company, PepsiCo. It is having its snack manufacturing industry where? In Darwad. And it is manufacturing all these snacks, your favorite snacks, it is manufacturing. So the income, it is a foreign company. It is an USA company. It is located inside India and it is manufacturing all these snacks. And by selling these snacks, it is earning some income. And this income, is it used to calculate GNP or GDP? If you have just said GDP, you are absolutely right. The income earned by foreign nationals 
residing within the domestic territory the income earned by them is used to calculate gdp okay so we are taking these examples to make learning more interactive and to help you remember things for a longer period of time let us take more examples okay let us take few more examples aldiram produces it produces potato chips in india aldiram let us say aldiram's manufacturing unit is in ubli and it is producing potato chips in india tell me students does it come under gdp or gnp gdp is the answer this comes under gdp let's move forward let's move forward pepsico also produces potato chips and pepsico let us say is producing these potato chips in belgaum in belgaum in india it comes under gdp or gnp gnp right no it comes under gdp let us move forward tata motors tata motors tata namak desh ka namak tata motors is producing car where it is producing car in gujarat it is producing cars in gujarat does it comes under gdp or gnp yes you are right it comes under gdp gross domestic product okay now let us move forward tata motors another example we are taking tata motors is producing car where in the united kingdom in the uk does it comes under gdp or gnp you are absolutely correct it comes under gross national product gnp okay now let us take a difficult example a very difficult example students japanese company okay a japanese company let us say a japanese company toyota is toyota a japanese company i don't know let us take an hypothetical example a japanese company is producing cars in usa when a japanese company is producing cars in usa does this come under the gdp of japan or the gdp of usa a difficult question pause this video and tell me the answer the answer is if a japanese company is having its manufacturing unit in the texas state of usa it is the income earned by the japanese company by selling those cars will be used to calculate the gdp of usa the gdp of usa whereas this income will be used to calculate what the gross national product the gnp the gnp of japan so we have discussed a lot of examples a lot of examples have been discussed i hope there won't be any doubts and confusion regarding gdp and gnp i hope you will remember the concept gdp and gnp for sure for a longest period of time and let and you have to promise me that if this question about gdp and gnp occurs in your upsc exams you will absolutely 100% get it correct let's move forward let us move forward students so finally we are at the climax of this session we have to discuss one important very 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 important topic let us try to establish the relay we have understood gdp we have understood gnp on both hands on one hand we have understood gdp on one hand we have understood gnp now let us try to establish a relationship between them what is the relationship between gdp and gnp let us take an example let us take the same example which were taken earlier let us draw a box let us draw a box students let us draw this box we are understanding the relationship between gdp and gnp this is a what is a a is income a is what money value the income earned by indian citizen okay a is the income earned by indian indian citizen okay now let us take b who is b b is an chinese a chinese citizen is selling something in india is manufacturing something in india so b is the income earned by chinese national in india let us take c who is c what is c c is an indian national c is also students c is also an indian he is an indian but he is residing where he is residing in united states of america he is residing in america usa and he is earning some income so now let us let us write down what is gnp and gdp 
we have discussed this earlier right what is gdp gdp will become a plus b will be your gdp okay a plus b is your gdp fine now let us let us write down let us write down what is gnp let us write down what is gnp gnp is the income earned only by the citizens no matter it is in india or abroad so what is gnp indians and indians a plus c gnp is a plus c is your gnp fine so now let us try to establish a relationship between gdp and gnp so what is gnp let us say let us take this example let me erase this unnecessary thing students then let me try to give you this formula of gdp and gnp okay so let me give this give you this formula it's a beautiful formula an amazing formula okay fine so what is gnp gnp formula we are trying to establish the relationship between gnp and gdp gnp is equal to gdp gdp plus what what is gnp income earned by citizens income earned by citizens indian citizens in india and abroad let us write it down let us make it simpler let us simplify it like anything income gnp is income earned by indians okay income earned by indians not only in india domestically that is in india income earned by indians not only in india but also abroad but also abroad okay we know that we know this thing now let us see what is gdp gdp is the income earned by indians income earned by indians plus whom non indians the foreigners the foreigners the foreigners inside india okay inside india so what we should add to gdp to arrive at gnp what is not there in gdp we said in gnp it is the income earned by indians in india income earned by indians in india this is there in gdp in gdp we are having income earned by indians we are having this what we are not having in gdp we are not having the income earned by indians abroad in foreign countries the income earned by indians abroad in foreign countries we don't have so let shall we add that what should we add we have to add c right let us add c let us add c we have added c here okay now what should what should not be there in gnp in gnp the income earned by foreigners inside india should not be there so let us minus something shall we minus b that is income earned by the chinese national let us minus it we have minus this so this dear students this is the relationship between gnp and gdp when we are what is this what is this this is nothing but net net factor income net factor income earned abroad net factor income earned abroad so let us refine this and let us write it quite neatly okay so gdp sorry gnp gross national product is equal to gdp plus net factor income abroad so we have defined this new term net factor income abroad nfia let us go back to the slide and let us understand it better what is nfia let us understand it better students okay let us go back let us go back to the product let us go back to the presentation so net factor income abroad what was this let us write the definition let us write that formula again so that it will be easier for us to understand this we had written that formula gnp gross national product is equal to gross domestic product plus net factor income abroad nfia right so what is nfia it is the difference it is the difference between a nation's gnp and a nation's gdp how you may ask how simple mathematical formula let us bring this gdp to this side what it becomes gnp minus gdp 
is equal to n f i a so isn't it what is n f i a isn't it the difference between a nation's gnp and gdp is this absolutely clear okay let's move forward the difference between total amount that a country's citizens that is country citizens and companies earn abroad that is gnp right country citizens and companies earning abroad that is the difference we are calculating difference between the total amount that a country citizens and companies earn abroad and the total amount that a that foreign citizens total amount that foreign citizens and overseas companies earn in that country this is net factor income abroad let us take one more small example and wind up this session let us take one more example to understand nfi in a better manner then let us wind up this session for good okay last example students let us say okay let us say this is usa this is usa this is india our beautiful india let us say indians are working in usa okay indians are working in usa let us say in usa there are several indians several beautiful amazing hard working indians are working as scientists scientists in nasa in they are working in nasa they are working as doctors they are working as doctors there are some carpenters also there are some carpenters there are some dancers indian beautiful dancers okay so all of them they are residing in usa these are indian citizens they are residing in usa and earning some income let us say they are earning all of them are earning classic education nalli economic gk samanya gnana job news so all these indians are residing in usa and they are earning 10000 dollars okay fine now let us say in india there are there are some usa citizens usa citizens what are they doing in india they are working in india as scientists abroad they are working GNP, in right? india country citizens as companies doctors companies they are working in the india as carpenters do usa citizens work in india as carpenters they are working in india as dancers okay so by doing this they are earning some let us say they are earning some 8000 dollars 8000 dollars so what was net factor income abroad it was the difference it was the difference between income earned by indians abroad and income earned by foreigners in india that was the definition of nfia right so let us let us try to wind it up let me erase this a bit so that i might get a space a little bit space so what was the definition what was the definition students let us let me erase this completely so what was the definition what was the formula gnp gnp is equal to gdp plus net factor income abroad that is the income earned by indians abroad minus income earned by income earned by indians abroad minus the income earned by foreigners in india so that is the relationship between gdp and gnp i hope you will never forget this let us finally summarize what and all we have studied and let us wind up this beautiful amazing thoughtful session my dear students okay let us go back we we were discussing gdp versus gnp what did we we understood the relationship between gdp and gnp then we understood what is gdp gdp is the income earned by citizens and non citizens within a domestic territory and what is gnp it is the income earned only by citizens of india not only in india but also abroad then we understood when we compared using this table the difference between gdp and gnp then we took the example of aldirams pepsico then we took several other examples then we understood finally what is net factor income abroad we also i also gave you a formula for that so we will continue this amazing economic series tomorrow let us wind up this session here thank you for attending this session thank you